The next quick performance win I wanna show you for Laravel is using eager loading. And what I'm gonna show you is why you should use eager loading and how it's bad potentially when you're not using it. So inside of my application, I have users and customers. A user is a person who signs up for the application. So we can pretend this is a SaaS application, maybe like a CRM where I sign up as a user and then I keep track of my customers. This means that a user might have many customers, right? So the method customers on my user object is returning that it has many other customers. Let's actually call this function in a controller and do a loop over all the customers that I have and we'll just see what happens. I'm gonna head over here and run php artisan make controller and I'll just call this play controller because we're just gonna play with some code here and I'll head back over here and we'll see that we have it. So HTTP controllers play controller and then I'm gonna head to my routes and just make a new route here. So route get play, that's gonna be play controller and I'll just call the index method. So of course here we have to create that. So public function index. So what I wanna do here is list out all my users and for each user I wanna get all the customers for that user. So we're gonna include, we're gonna use the use statement for app user just so we can use the user class. And then we're gonna get all my users with user get. So I'm just gonna grab all the users from my database. Then I'm gonna say for each users as user, grab my customers and we'll do something with it. All right, so we're gonna do customers as an attribute and not as a function, but because of the Laravel model, the way that works, it's gonna call this method and it's gonna get all the customers for the user. And then we will perform some operation. Now I'm actually not gonna do anything here because it doesn't matter for this demonstration. I'll just return done when we're all done with this. So I'm gonna grab all the users. That should be one query. And then we're gonna say for each user, get the customers. And what we're gonna see is that we get a new query every time we try to grab the customers for a user. So we'll head to my Laravel application. We see I have the debug bar here, which has all the queries ran here. And if I refresh this, we'll see there's no queries on the home page. But if I go to that slash play page, we see I have five queries. And what these queries are, select star from users. So that's our first thing where we get all the users. And then we have a for each loop, right? And I only have four users in the database. But for each user, I make a new query to get every customer where that user ID matches the user's ID. So one, two, three, four. So if I had five users in the database, we'd see five queries here. And that is why it's called the n plus one problem. I have n, which is the number of users in my database, and plus one, we're making another query for every user here. So get star from users is one query, and then for every user, we have an additional query. So I have five queries total against the database for this page load. So let's use eager loading to reduce this down to just two queries. So we already have the relationship set up and that's the one we're using to grab the customers. All I have to do to update this is with, is to add the function call with, and I'll say what I want it with, while well, it's the relations, so you can see it autofills the attribute it wants here, with customers. So we're gonna tell us that when we want to get all the users from the database, include the customers along with it via the customers method, right? The relationship that we've named customers. In other words, call the customers method, which defines the relationship and get those at the same time. Now that'll come along with each user. So then when we do for each users as user and we grab the customers, that's actually already part of the user's object, right? So we're actually gonna go down in the number of queries to just two. Perfect. So we get all the users and then we cycle through the users and get all their IDs. We have all the IDs and then we say grab customers where the user ID matches one, two, three, or four. In other words, the IDs for all of our users. So now we only have done two queries instead of five, right? Instead of the n plus one problem. In other words, instead of for every user run another query, we are only doing two queries here where it gets star from users. It knows it has four users and only has to run one, one more query to fill in the customers for each user. So we've reduced the amount of queries dramatically, which is especially important if you have a lot of users. This is a huge one to help performance in your application. Now, if I wanted to auto load customers and page views, you can do that as well. We can just make this an array. I don't think you even need to make it an array, but whatever you wanna do, you can do it. All have customers, all have page views, and you can just add in as many things as you need to here to reduce the amount of queries made in total. Now, I'm just gonna illustrate one more point here. I'm gonna do user get all of them, and I'm just gonna return those users immediately. And we should get a JSON object here. And actually, I'm gonna do this in Chrome, where I have a plugin that does a nice pretty print of the JSON output. So we see I have these users here, and there's nothing along with them, right? There's no customer information. So if I head back to PHPStorm and do user with customers, and I'll refresh this, 
we'll see that that's huge now because we have the customers loaded in with each item here already, right? It's already loaded. I don't need to go do a for each loop to get them and get those new queries or anything. The customer items are already on that object. So that's eager loading. I definitely, definitely suggest you use that at all times if you are loading extra data. You don't necessarily need to always do it, of course, use your best judgment, but in a lot of cases, it'll reduce the number of queries you make in your application a lot, especially when you're looping over stuff, which I find myself doing a lot in things like admin uh, panels and stuff like that for reporting in the applications that I write.